Here's a question about rounding. They tell us that a clothing store had 274 customers, that means people shopping, in one day. What is 274 rounded to the nearest 10? What they're talking about when they say nearest 10 is the tens place right here. So we want to round this number either up to 8 or down or leave it, excuse me, at 7. So when you're rounding a place value, you either go up or you leave it. And the way you do that is to use the smaller place value next to it to the right to figure out how to round. And the general rule that's accepted on most state tests, although there's much more to this than just a general rule as a company and as a person growing up, you'll realize that rounding is really based on whatever you're doing, not so much some some arbitrary rule. But for this test and for for any standardized test, there is a general rule. This number, if it's five or greater, five or greater, what you do is round the place value up. So this would become two eight something. So five or greater, then you round up. And I'll show an example of that or a moment in a moment. But if it's less than five, and five, you leave the digit alone, the number alone. So there's either there's only really two cases: either you round it up, or you leave it. Just as I said before. So because four is less than five, we leave seven where it is. Now the next step is is to get rid of the unit place value right here, or the ones place, because we're really focused on this one right here. And you can tell in all the answers that they just have zero, right, in every case, in every case for each rounding. So when you round, it's it's kind of like you're ignoring this number right here. You're just using it to round up this place value, and then you forget about it. So B is the answer, 270. We left the 7 where it was. If it was 275, well, 5 is bigger than 4, right, so we round up. This would become not 27, but 280 right? And where do these other numbers come from? Well, um, 200, I think, would be if we had something like we're rounding to the nearest 100, and the number, right, that we had was something like 248. Well, 248, if we round to the nearest 100 instead of the nearest 10, that means we're looking at this place value. So again, the rule is look to the right. Here, this number is a 4. So that rule is it's less than 5, so you leave this number where it is. And we're not concerned with 10s or 1s here, we're looking at 100s. So it becomes 200. But if it was 250 or higher, right, we have 274, and we are rounding, rounding to the nearest 100, you look at the 100 place, that's this place right here, use the number next to it, which is bigger than 5, right, 5 or bigger, excuse me, so then you round up to 300. So D would be correct if we were rounding up to up by the hundreds. A would be correct if we had a different number and we were rounding to the hundred. C would be correct if we had something like 275 or 276 or 277 or 278. Anything where the unit place value or the ones place right here is 5 or up. But we don't have that. We have B, which is 274. All right, hope this helped.